plant friends welcome back to my channel planty princess 92 my name is Ashley and I had a little tiny fib the last unboxing I posted I said was my last unboxing for this year 2020 well I lied I ended up going in with my mother on another plant surprise so here is my official for real last unboxing for 2020 i'm going to go out with a bang and make it a good one i'll give you a little hint i already unboxed this plant um but i would take 20 of these if i could afford them <laughs> so let's get right into the unboxing see how this plant looks and show you guys what it is i got this off of ebay and the price I paid for this one was way better than the price I paid for the last one. And I think it even has more leaves. So now as you saw the outside of the box, it's um, packaged really cute on the outside with some stickers saying live plants, fragile, handled with love. You can't miss it. So hopefully it was handled with love through shipping. The inside looks all nice and tight. It has little bubble wrap and a little cotton in here. Oh, I see a leaf. I shouldn't quit my day job. <laughs> okay, so it's in here. Super nice. And let's get this baby out. This is another variegated Monstera Adansonii mint. So for this one, it has three leaves. I think this one was a little under 900 um, with tax and shipping and all that. I think it went for like 860 and then whatever tax and shipping was on top of that. So I think it reached right around 800. For the last one, I paid a little over 15. Um, the leaves were really great sized. It had very nice variegation, but it only had two leaves. So I think I definitely hit the jackpot finding this one for a little under $900. Let's get up close and see some of the variegation on this one. This one's a little more, um, at least as of right now, it's a little more subtle. I think as it grows, it gets a little more mature and as I provide it with the light requirements that it needs, it will get more pronounced. Um, I may have to insert a few pictures so you can actually pick up the variegation. I'm not sure if it will show on camera, but let's give it a go. So this one has variegation throughout the whole leaf. You can kind of see it. Um, so throughout the whole leaf, it has it has that really blended variegation. There you go. And again, it's mint, so it's not going to be real white. It's mostly going to be, you know, a different colors of green. But you can see it blended in. Again, it picks up better in person, but I'm glad I, you could at least catch it a little bit on camera there. Um, this one you can see a little better. It has the variegation right up on the side here. So let me see now that you know where it is, if I can get it at a good spot where you can actually see that real good. There you go. So that does look really neat. And then the last little leaf is again like the first leaf. It's kind of just mixed with the whole leaf. This one's really hard to tell. So I'll have to insert some pictures so you guys can get a really good close up on this variegation. Again, for this one, it's really subtle and kind of really blended in on each leaf. But as I mentioned, I think with the light, it will get more pronounced. Um, you know, the more light they say for variegated plants, the more pronounced and variegated the plants get. So we will definitely, we will definitely do some updates on this plant, especially on my Instagram. And you guys will get to see how this plant grows, how the variegation holds up, and it will just be an exciting journey for all of us. I wanna open this and get into the roots a little bit and see what we're working with underneath. I 
have to say this is packaged pretty nice. It's really nice and tight around the stems. Um, which is why it's taking me so long to get this undone because <laughs> if I cut a stem, I am going to, I'm just going to cry right here on camera and I will post it. <laughs> So then it's wrapped really nicely. It was in like a heavier plastic uh, taped shut with some tape, obviously. Then it has some nice saran wrap tight around the sphagnum, which is holding in the roots. Let's see if the sphagnum is still wet at all. Looks like it's a little damp, which is good, perfect. I hate when it comes through too wet. It's like some people soak it so it's like sopping wet, but then like the stems rot. It's so it's so wet, even the roots start to rot. It's horrible. This is damp, it's not soaking wet, so I think this was perfect. And if we carefully take it off, we have a nice set of roots just starting here which I knew they weren't, you know, I knew they were just, you know, starting, but it's, it's very, very good for a starter, for a starter root system. Um, even some of the main roots have some feeder roots coming off of it. So this is definitely enough root system to hold these three leaves together. I know sometimes even like when you propagate plants, you can't propagate with too many leaves without a root system because it it's not able to, produce enough energy to keep the leaves alive as well as make that root system. So this is quite sufficient for the three leaves that this beautiful plant has. All in all, I am super excited. I'm so glad I found this at the price that I did. Again, I went in on this one with my mother. The last one we got was, you know, a little more expensive, but this one, this one was a little less and it has one more leaf. The variegation is very nice and I believe it will start to come in a little more once I get the light up on this beautiful plant. Thank you guys again for joining me in the last unboxing of 2020. I look forward to all the new plant videos coming in next year. I have so many great plans for next year and I'm so excited to share it with you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. Hit the bell to get notifications on my new videos. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.